So hey guys, if you are looking for a ROM for your Galaxy J7 Prime that have lots of customization and features like face unlock, a huge number of fonts, big screen home and voice, edge lighting and so on and for better gaming experience, this video is for you. In this video, we are gonna be installing the Black Panther ROM which is the port version of S9 Plus in our Galaxy J7 Prime. Before starting the video, let me just show you a short clip of the PUBG play on this ROM. The PUBG game runs smoothly in this ROM and in the playing time I have not seen any frame drop or lag in this device. So here is the JSON Prime and the ROM that I am using now is the Havoc OS which is a port version of stock Android and the Android version of it is Pi. After making a video on that I will put the link in the iCut and the description box. As you can see that it's the Havoc OS. By the way to install the Black Panther ROM turn off your mobile and boot your device to TWRP recovery mode. To do that you have to press the volume up key, home button and the power button of your device simultaneously. Once I have installed this ROM that's why the boot logo has been changed. For clear the confusion let me show you that the device is Galaxy J7 Prime. Now once the recovery mode has been opened you have to wipe your device. Select the advanced wipe option and make sure that you have select only these 4 terms. Now wipe your device and after completing wipe just go back. Now in the installing time you can use your internal storage of your device a SD card or a OTG adapter like I am using. Make sure that what are you going to use and tap on install. Now select a storage where the zip files of the Black Panther room is exist. Choose the zip file of the Black Panther ROM and swipe the arrow right side to install the ROM. So the customization of the ROM starts from the installing time. At first choose what kind of wipe do you like. I am selecting semi wipe but I will refer the full wipe option. Choose your device. Now from here you can change your boot logo. I have selected the S9 black which you have seen in the first of the video. Then next select resolution. Next now select the apps that you need. Then select launcher. Now from here the other features can be installed. Check it out choose kernel now if you are facing problems with the rooted device select no root option by selecting no root option you will able to use the custom ROM without having the root access and after selecting tap on install now to hold on Guys, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notification updates. Once the installing process has been completed, tap on next. By tapping on next, your device will be rebooted automatically. Now you can remove your SD card or a pen drive if you are using a OTG adapter. As you guys can see that the boot logo has been changed to S9. The first boot will take a large amount of time, be patient.
you can see that the installing process has been completed let me just quickly set up the settings So here is the Black Panther ROM. The good thing about the ROM is it supports the Volti. The face unlock features of the ROM works nicely. Besides, you will get a good experience with lots of customization. And you can also use the ROM as daily usage. The Android version of this ROM is audio. So here is the total video and again if the video is helpful to you, please kindly do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.